the other thing is, you can't score if you're not getting the service, Jimmy. It, you can't <laughs> run from your defence all the way to the other goal and score by yourself, can you? So, is it unfair no, to just criticise him because of the lack of creativity? I think it is unfair, but for different reasons. Uh, every good striker creates chances for himself as well, especially when things are difficult. They find a way to create that chance, you know, uh, uh, here and there. Uh, yes, we do need service. And, and obviously, you know, uh, service is, is important. But at the moment, you know, he's having a bad spell. But that, is, that, is, that, that happens. Other players need to step up, you know, when your striker is having a bad spell. And that happens to the best. He just has to keep on believing. You know, as a manager, if you have Aubameyang and he's going to go through a, a, a bad spell, it will be just a matter of time when he starts scoring again because he's quality. He is quality and you don't have to be afraid of. You have to get worried about if he's the only one in your team that can score. It has to be others who help the team as well. You know, and, and, and that is Arsenal's problem. Uh, Tony will know more than, 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 than me, but I, I, I think Aubameyang, he's a magnificent player. Yes, he's only scored one penalty this year. If you look at times when a striker or a player is on fire and he signs a new contract, he gets a dip. Yeah, he gets a dip. I don't know what happens psychologically, but he gets a dip. And then eventually he gets out of that dip and starts scoring again or, or starts playing absolutely magnificent. And you just have to be patient and, and give him the confidence and, and keep on believing in Aubameyang. That problem is, t Tony, it's the expectation and because he's excelled so much and he's wearing that armband. You know how heavy that can weigh on certain players, plus the contract right. situation. I thought the penalty might have turned... And, and Jimmy's made another good point about the confidence. I don't know what it is. You had that dip. Um, I thought the you know the penalty would have got him off and running again, but if there is a, this you know, and I said it at the end of last season, we won the FA Cup, and and Abanyang spent most of his time at, at left back, you know, and the and and because they go for a, a lean spell, you know, we're we're throwing. All, I questioned the Ozil decision last year, you know, and and we need players like that in the team. He's got Sabias in today, who's another create, uh, creative player. So. I think uh, Arteta's recognised it and he does want to do something about it. He's got Willock and he's got a few few other guys. I think he's be, he'll be very open today. <laughs> if he weren't going to be open already, it's going to be open today. Um, but Abanyang, I think, you know, he's an unbelievable player. I would, and I've said before, I'd get Ozil in behind him, create him. He can score goals. He can actually make goals for himself. He's a wonderful player. And the floodgates are open up very soon for these guys. It could be today.